Hello everyone, it is Sunday and I'm currently studying for Orgo. I have an exam tomorrow, it's our second exam, and it's covering four chapters um, of the textbook and it's all about reaction mechanisms as is all of Orgo too, but specifically we're focusing on five reaction mechanisms consisting of amines, enamines, acetyl formation, protection group, and protecting group yeah so I'm trying to really trying to focus and um, get all this information in my head right now for tomorrow's exam because it's really big everything's just moving really fast I didn't even realize it but we only have two weeks of school left at this point or even less I think starting tomorrow there's only 10 days which means we have this exam on Monday then there's going to be new information that we're going to learn for our third exam and then two days later we have our final final and I'm really really excited to be finishing up Orgo 2. It's just a lot of information. I had no idea how much I would learn and how fast I would have to learn all of it and memorize it and honestly I need if anyone is an Orgo 2 or has taken Orgo 2 I need some tips on how best to study and prepare for exams because I feel like I'm it's a lot of memorization which I know I heard it is a lot of memorization and I know I heard that to learn it best you have to be able to connect it and really understand it memorizing is a part of it but the best way is to actually understand how mechanisms work but then I feel like I try to understand it, but I still have to memorize what goes where. I, I understand it, but I don't remember to actually do it when it comes to putting it together in a mechanism. So I really need some tips on how you guys study for it or memorize it. And yeah. The amount of flashcards I'm making is multiplying by the minute. So for an update on my day, I just took a really, really long nap. I had my exam this morning. Now I woke up an hour early so I could review again for this exam, went to my exam, took that, was supposed to have lecture after the exam, but I wasn't feeling good because I haven't slept a lot for the past couple of days. I think I've been averaging like four hours a night for a couple of those days back. So I wasn't feeling good and I didn't feel like I wanted to stay for that lecture because that's already something were supposed to know. I think it was mostly just review. So came home, took a nap instead, and now I'm working on pre-lab that's due tomorrow and getting ready for work. I have a night shift today starting at 7 and I'm really excited to be back. I missed work so hopefully that's going to be really good because I'm not feeling that great and motivated after this exam. I don't think it went that well so I need something happy so yeah i'm excited for work this actually seems like it would be a really fun lab we're making a dye and then we're testing it out by dyeing different fabrics that's pretty cool it's been pretty busy so far but i have not had a chance to actually sit down and like catch my breath yet every time i sit down and look at the board there's something new Someone just asked me why I take the stairs to go from floor to floor. First of all, it's healthier. And second of all, the elevator travels the speed of a snail. This is how I reward myself in the hospital. So I have an hour left in my shift today and I'm taking my lunch break now. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm working on my pre-lab for later today for our orgo lab. Um, but today I got to be a tech, a solo, a solo tech for the first time on red zone, which in my hospital is the zone that receives the traumas or the critical medical patients. So for example, if someone was stabbed or if someone's in cardiac arrest, um, so they come to the trauma bay and I've the, the last time that I worked in this zone 
was when I was in orientation and I was with someone and someone was walking me through everything that I had to do and now it's been like three months that I've been working here and this is the first time it's because it's things move really fast and um, with traumas or with medical patients that come to the trauma bay and you really have to be quick about the things you do you have to remember what you're doing it's just it, it can be overwhelming when you're first starting so they try to give the new people a couple of months to get accumulated in other zones so they try to give the new people some time to adjust and get uh, accustomed to everything before putting them in red on traumas um yeah so that's really exciting that's my first time and i had a couple traumas come in and trauma and medical come in um so it's been really interesting and it's just such a great learning experience on my way to class i'm so tired i feel like my eyes just keep trying to close finished lab and going home to work on homework and then probably sleep. Woo! Oh, it's so nice and sunny and warm outside right now. It's so beautiful. back home and back to working on yet another lab report. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it feels like it takes forever to do. Somehow I overslept. I don't think my first alarm rang, so now I'm 20 minutes late. So I'm headed back to work. Um, it starts at 3. Um, I turned in my lab report today and I stayed up at two till two in the morning yesterday to finish that and it was all about identifying your unknown so I did that and I overslept because of that got to class late and then decided to check with her just to make sure that all that work wasn't in vain and that I actually identified the right unknown and guess what I didn't I didn't identify the right unknown so all of that work and proof and calculations for the wrong unknown so but she is being really nice and letting me rewrite it and turn it in on monday but it's just annoying because that means i have to rewrite it and redo it and reprove the actual unknown that's basically how well my time with orgo 2 is going right now I was studying at a coffee shop and now I moved to Union Market. This is the new setup. It's around 7 in the morning and I'm heading back to work for my shift until 7 p.m. So I haven't really filmed um, my Sunday and today that much and that is because I've had a rough past couple days. Um, I had a shift on I think the last time I filmed was Saturday and I was studying for my exam that was supposed to be on Monday. Then I had a shift on Sunday where it was just very, very busy the whole time I was um, running around doing things and I actually had people that I was showing things and teaching, teaching um, this time and I was in a zone where I had a lot of patients coming in, critical patients, so I just felt like I could not sit down. I didn't up taking a, end up taking a lunch. So I didn't really eat for those 12 hours, always on the move. 
and the night before I was studying for my exam since I knew that Sunday I wouldn't really have that much time to study because I work 7-7. Seven seven. So sun Saturday night I think I got like three hours of sleep and and um, Sunday coming back from my shift I got into a car accident and it wasn't a bad one. I am very grateful, very lucky that um, that I was not hurt. My car is banged up and I am really sad about that, but I didn't hit anyone else. Um, I just hit the fence um, or like the little side barricade, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, so I just didn't film anything after this, but I did want to end this vlog since I started it and yeah, I'm sorry it ended so abruptly. I just wanted to finish it off. And my exam got moved. I emailed my professor and she was very, very nice about it. Um, I told her I got into a car accident and that I was shaken up and I really tried to study after that, but I just, my mind kept going to my accident and I I was so tired. I'm, I just felt so sleep deprived and so out of focus. And I emailed her just asking for anything, any, just push it back a couple hours for me so I could at least sleep in, maybe push it back a day. I, I honestly was like, I will take anything. Please just let me know. And so she's letting me take it tomorrow, um, at noon. So I could, she's even giving me some a couple hours to sleep in and then take it and then take my lab final with that too so i'm really grateful for that and overall just grateful that it was not worse than it was and yeah gotta be careful out there but yeah that was another week of my life this was a crazier week than i think i've ever filmed before so yeah See you in my next video, I guess. So I'm editing this video right now and watching all those videos together, watching like the vlog come together. Honestly, I think it's so crazy how little sleep I was getting and how tired I was and how hard I still tried to push myself and study and work and everything. And I mean, I know like we want to do well, we want to excel, we especially like going into medicine, we have a lot of expectations on us, like doing really well, getting really good grades, you know, getting a lot of extracurricular stuff in. But the most important thing for us in general is just to stay healthy and be safe and just take care of ourselves. And sometimes I tend to forget that and I just get, I don't know, I look overwhelmed. And I try to take on so many things and then I end up not being able to handle it really well. But point is, most important thing is for all of us just to, is just to stay healthy and take care of ourselves.